everyone and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you hear any background noise in this video, it's probably one of three cats or all of them together. Just like playing around, so ignore that. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a vlog where I read the three oldest books on my TBR. So these books have been on my TBR for a hell of a long time. I'm gonna put them up on the screen here just so you can see. The one that has been the most annoying for me for the longest time is this one, which is The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin. This is the third book in a trilogy. I read the first two books in like 2020, love them both. I think I gave the first one five stars, the second one four stars. And I was so excited to read this final book but something was quite like intimidating about it. I didn't really want it to end. So for whatever reason, I just completely left it and have neglected finishing this series for the longest time. I then forgot basically everything about it and knew that I wouldn't just be able to jump straight into the stone sky. So I knew that I was gonna have to read the first two books first, which I have done. I'll leave links to my Goodreads reviews for those books, but just know that it's probably one of my favorite series I've ever read so far. <laughs> the first book was an easy five star both times and the second one I've actually given it five stars on my reread. So I'm absolutely loving this series, can't get enough of it. And I've literally read them all like back to back. So we're now on The Stone Sky. I'm only one chapter in, so I'm on page 30. I've just started my new job this week, so it's been kind of busy and hectic and I've just been kind of getting used to that. So I haven't really felt like reading at night because I've been absolutely knackered. And also like on my dinner breaks where I would usually read at work, I've been trying to like make friends because new job and everything. And then after that, I will be reading the two next books on my TBR. So the next one is The Memory Police, which I do have. So that will be good to read another like physical book that I own. And then the next one after that is Birthday, which I've kind of been umming and ahhing as to whether I want to read it. But all of the reviews on Goodreads are like, this book is so sad and so emotional and five star everywhere. So I feel like I should give it a go. <laughs> um, and trust me, it's been through like 10 audits as to whether I want to keep it on my TBR. And every time I've been like, I should read this book. So yeah, I think they've all been on my TBR since 2020. So I'm really excited to finally get these books off my TBR and actually read them. I think I'll really enjoy them all as well. But yeah, we'll see. I will let you know when I get a little bit further on into this. And um tell you what I'm thinking but at the minute I'm on page 30 and I've already tabbed once the other two books are absolutely full of tabs I will show you them all together like when I finished it but for now I'm going to do a little bit of reading and yeah I will check in with you when I have an update hi everyone so it's been quite a few days since I last updated this vlog I had quite a busy weekend so I didn't do much reading and I don't know if I mentioned it in my intro clip but I've been playing so much Hogwarts Legacy that I've just not really been in the mood for reading. <laughs> but I am still reading The Stone Sky, which is in the other room. So I'm not going to go get it right now. I'm on about page 80. So I've been kind of reading this in little dribs and drabs when I've been going to bed. And I've just been so tired. I've not been able to read in bed. I really need to just like sit down and take a couple of hours to read a big chunk of this because at the minute I'm not feeling very into it and that is upsetting me because I obviously loved the first two books so I'm not much further in than I was in the last clip I'm finding it okay I'm finding it okay I'm just not finding much time to read it which is making me feel like I'm not into it but my job today well actually I've got quite a few jobs today that I want to do so I need to do some like online training and stuff and rewriting my notes I also need to edit another video and I need to read <laughs> and do some like life admin-y type things. So I have lots of things I wanna tick off today. But first, I'm absolutely starving. So I'm gonna make myself some noodles and a cup of tea, even though that sounds minging together. But once I've had my noodles, then my tea will be at the optimal temperature for me to drink, hopefully. And then I'm gonna start doing some work. So I will let you know when I have an update for you. Hopefully I wanna read like at least 50 to 70 pages today hopefully hopefully even more hi guys so um it's been a week since i last updated this video and i've just realized that this challenge that i've set myself is not working right now in the last clip i think i was on like page 70 i'm now on page 140 and i'm going to soft dnf this for now i just can't get into it i'm getting bored reading it and i was talking about this with my boyfriend yesterday and he said, you're probably just burnt out because you read the first two and now you're going straight into the third one and it's probably just like too much of the same thing. And 
I read a lot of thrillers I often have to sandwich my more serious books with a thriller just to like keep me in the mood for reading so reading three adult fantasy books in one go was always going to be a bit of a challenge and yeah I'm just not it's not happening so I am still going to read this in this video I think but I'm going to leave it to last because I just need a bit of a mental break and then I think I'm just going to start this book again I feel like I'm not remembering much of what's happening I don't know if it's the book I don't know if it's me I think it's just me so yeah we're just gonna put this one to the side for a little bit and I'm gonna just change this video up a little bit okay <laughs> uh, so I was gonna be reading the three oldest books on my TBR however I really need to just mood read right now this morning I decided to start listening to Sapiens a brief history of humankind by Yuval Noah Harari Oh, did you hear my cat just do a meow? <laughs> so I have this on audio and this is quite a big book and it's a non-fiction book, but I won it on an Instagram competition quite a while ago now and it's just been sat there waiting to be read. So I figured that on my drive to work, which is now about 25 minutes, that I would just listen to this and then read it as and when. Uh, I'll probably end up listening to most of it though because it feels like listening to a podcast and I quite like that. I think I'm about an hour into the audio book at the minute which puts me on page, I think I'm on about page 50. So I feel like I've got through more of this book today than I have of The Stone Sky in like the last week almost. <laughs> I know I've read about 70 pages of this, but trust me, it felt a little bit forced and like I was pushing myself to do it when I didn't really want to do it. That's the trouble with these videos, I think, because I am a big mood reader and I don't really like to set myself TBRs because if I'm not in the mood for a book, I just won't read it. I can't force myself to read something I don't want to read at that moment in time. So to get me out of this reading slump that I'm in at the minute, I'm going to read The Appeal by Janice Hallett. I'm just really in the mood for a book that has mixed media and a mystery in there. I think the whole book is like emails, case files, that kind of thing. I just think this will be a really quick read, really fun, and I just need that right now. I guess we'll just see where this video ends up. <laughs> um, I will let you know when I next have an update. Hi guys, so it's now the next day and my plan worked. I have been reading like crazy. So I'm currently on page 60 of Sapiens. As I said, I'm mainly listening to this on audiobook and then I'm sort of going over it again in the book, just sort of skim reading it, just because there's like pictures and diagrams and stuff. So yeah, there's just a couple little like tables and things that I just want to be able to see. So I'm really enjoying that. It's not quite what I expected. It's very heavy on the biology side at the minute. Now, call me stupid, but I didn't know that we are not the only type of human being that there's ever been. I knew that we were Homo sapiens and I've heard of like Homo erectus and like Neanderthals and stuff, but silly me just thought that it was almost like one after another. That's just how we evolved. And this book has made me realise that there were actually multiple species of humans living on Earth at the same time, which is kind of blown my mind. So if that's the level that we're at, then I feel like this book is going to be very, very informative. <laughs> um, I wasn't the biggest fan of science at school. I'm much more of a sociology gal. That was my subject that I did at uni. Oh, fucking hell. Ooh. And I'm used to having biology thrown at me as like an argument. I used to work with this guy and we used to have these debates that like verged on arguments where I would have like a sociological side of things and he would be very like biology and we just could never really agree on anything like he was so like nature and I was so nurture so this is quite challenging at the minute it's not the easiest book to listen to on audio so I'm definitely going to read some of it physically as well I feel like I should be taking notes it's quite dense and yeah as well as that remember I only had this conversation with you yesterday I am now on page 124 of this book I'm sorry I'm having such a good time with this book. I'm obsessed. I don't even think I told you what it was about. It's basically a book where you are like a legal assistant or a trainee solicitor or something. And you've basically been given this case file, which is just full of emails and the odd like flyer and text messages and stuff. And it's about this small town called Lockwood. And they've got this amateur dramatics department. And the director who always directs these plays, his granddaughter, who's two years old, has got this really rare brain cancer. And yeah, we're basically just following this small town as they rally together to fundraise and put on this play as well. I love small town drama. So far, it's just been sort of setting up who's who, their relationships. There's this one character called Isabel who is so like clingy and annoying, but I feel so sorry for her. But she's like so full on and she's sending people emails like all the time, like just 
begging basically just the way that you hear everyone talking about each other it's just so fun and i'm really loving it the actual case that you're meant to be investigating is somebody's murder somebody has already been sent to prison for it but this lawyer guy suspects that they're innocent and wants me the law student to um figure it out so we've not got to a murder yet we don't know who's been killed we don't know who's in prison for it it's all very secretive and mysterious at the minute it's literally just setting the scene but yeah i'm really enjoying this so this is your sign that if you're not enjoying the book that you're reading just put it down just for a bit either dnf it like fully if you're like really not enjoying it or just do a little temporary dnf and just read something else and i feel like i'm gonna race through these books because i'm just having a good time and then i can go back to the stone sky feeling very invigorated and in love with reading again i'm gonna make a cup of tea do my work oh that's the kettle boiling now and i'll let you know when i next read bye hi guys i'm fully aware that i look insane right now but i'm gonna just get ready i'm currently in my car i've driven mac to american football practice and I've now got two hours to kill so I brought three books which is a little bit excessive and I brought my makeup because we're going to Liverpool after this to see my sister so I thought we'd just do my makeup while I tell you about my latest update so I'm now up to page 80 in Sapiens which I'm enjoying and the real star of the show is The Appeal so I started reading this what like two nights ago and I'm currently on page 340 so i'm obsessed with this book okay i'm s i'm loving it so much i'm gonna start my makeup now although i thought it was just emails it is a mix of like other media as well so it has like text messages it has flyers so it's been really fun to read it because i love stuff like that it just flies there's no chapters so it's really hard to put it down because you could literally just keep reading this book until you finish it i'm gonna finish it in the car like now <laughs> um but first off i'm gonna do my face so now that i'm on page 340 we've just found out who actually dies who's dead and we've now finished reading all of the like correspondence and stuff that was apparently used in the actual trial well in the fictional trial and now we're following the law students as they are sort of coming to their decisions as to who killed whoever died the reasons why and whether the appeal was actually a scam or not so i'm really in love with those sections as well because they're coming up with all sorts of theories that i've not even thought about i am finding it quite hard to come up with my own theories just because there's so much information so i'm kind of enjoying seeing them just like summarize it all as they are like discussing it over their own text messages so i'm honestly loving all of it i think i've got about 100 just over 100 pages left like it feels like we're coming to the end but there's still quite a bit to go there's loads of suspects there's loads of motives um i have been trying to keep track of like who was there to be able to do it like who was available but it's really hard um <laughs> and the students that we're reading from are coming up with things that like i didn't even think of like oh this person's definitely lying about being ill and they were actually here um so i think it's probably gonna take me completely by surprise like when they eventually say who's who did it if anyone sees me in my car right now they're gonna think i'm genuinely insane this foundation is a bit too dark for me um but we'll make it work so i brought that to read and i've also brought sapiens because i thought i could just listen to it while i'm here and read along with it at the same time um and then i've also brought the memory police i'm going to go back to my original video idea of reading the three oldest books on my tbr which are the stone sky the memory police and birthday but i'm going to start with the memory police which is the second oldest book i think Well, that's a bit bright. Oh. Also, the reason why my hair looks so weird is because I didn't do anything to it. I washed it a few days ago and I just put it straight up in a bun for work. So it looks right mess. So I've just put it in plaits in the hope that it'll sort of turn into a wavy situation. And then my fringe is in a roller because otherwise it'll just fall horrifically. I'm now going to read and hopefully finish the appeal. I can't wait to see how it's all going to come together because I feel like there's so much information and I'm just, yeah, loving it. I, can f I feel like it might be a five star read. We'll see how it ends. I'll let you know. Talk to you in a bit. Hi again. So my hair is now looking, oh God, that's some bitter. 
the roller fringe is looking a little bit too rolled at the minute but I'm sure that'll drop very soon and the plaits have actually worked quite well I've only had them in for like two hours I've literally just finished the appeal and I loved it I really liked how in the end it was a lot of back and forth between the two students and their mentor there's a lot about them making their theories and about who's who there were lots of twists but I don't think I've got anything bad to say about it at all I think it might be a five star um, because I've just been obsessed with it like I've not wanted to stop reading it at all I think it's really clever and really well put together I loved all the tiny little threads and how they all came together in the end I really love stuff like that where you just on a deep dive into a mystery so I'm going to give this five stars and I'm definitely going to read the other two books that she's brought out I think she's brought out the Twyford Code and there's another one like fairly new something Angels so I'm really happy about reading that book and I feel much better about reading than I did when I was reading The Stone Sky just because I just wasn't in the mood and I feel like this has really like got me out of that slump and I just really want to start a new book like immediately so I think I want to start The Memory Police next I would read some now but it's literally taking me like the whole two hours to read that the rest of that book um and i was flipping back and forth a little bit just because they reference like specific dates where things were said so i'd like go back and read it again i'm gonna go because he's gonna be coming back to the car any second now i will let you know when i start reading the memory police and let you know what my thoughts are hi guys so it's been like a week since i last updated this video <laughs> last week was one of the hardest weeks of work that I've ever had. <laughs> Very much put me out my comfort zone. By the time I was finishing I was absolutely exhausted and I barely read anything all week. But now that week is over and it's now Monday so I think I last updated you last Saturday. My only update for you is that I'm about halfway through The Memory Police so that's how far I've gotten to this book since last. I think I started it last Sunday and I'm currently on page 140. So this book is set on an island and we're following our main character who I think he's unnamed and she has this friend who's an old man who's also unnamed and on this island there's this group of people called the memory police and every so often something will just disappear from everyone's memory and it will just like no longer exist. Hello. And throughout the book like all of these things just vanish and people just have to burn them and then literally people can't remember them anymore or they see the object and they can't remember the word they can't remember its significance and they've not yet explained how that process is actually working if they're going to explain it at all so most people will just not remember these things but there are a couple of people who do remember not much is really happening there's not even much reflection about the memory police themselves these characters just kind of go along with society i don't know how i feel about it at the moment i feel like it's kind of a three star and then depending on whatever happens towards the end of the book it's quite short i think it's only 280 pages so i'm hoping to finish this like today tomorrow hi guys so i've just finished the memory police and i don't know what to think i found this book quite boring for the most part it's kind of repetitive and I feel like nothing really happens and everything that does happen it gets treated so blase oh there's toast in the background <laughs> all these characters just like accept everything disappearing and it's annoying like it was annoying me to read like why is nobody trying to find out why this is happening why is there no like what is she doing <laughs> why is nobody rebelling against it like i just don't get it it was pissing me off the ending i kind of like i think i kind of like the ending toast i think i liked the ending but i think that's kind of all i like about it i wanted it to do more for me i wanted what the fuck there's quite a lot of snippets in this book of the main character's book that she's writing as well which at first i found a bit boring as well But then this book felt so much longer than it actually was. And to say that it's almost 300 pages, I just feel like not enough happened. So I think I might give it like 2.5 out of 5 stars. It kind of reminded me of Her Body and Other Parties. There's a story in that book that's a little bit similar to this. I've just moved because the cats would not stop messing around. <laughs> I just wanted more explanation as to why the disappearances happened and why they didn't affect the memory police, why they didn't affect certain other people and why the hell people just put up with that. It just 
frustrated me like do something about it people like please and i know that's probably the point but we never really got to see what the memory police do like what they're capable of so i wasn't really scared of them at all like this main character must be the luckiest person in the world because every time she has a close call it's all fine i feel like i was expecting it to be a lot darker maybe a bit more like violent or just with a bit more but it was very like on the surface very subtle not a lot went on so i'm not sure what i want to read next i think i'll go back to sapiens because i've not read that for a few days just because i was finding it difficult to listen to it on audio and actually keep up with what was going on so i think i want to try to read it like actually physically this video's taken me so long to film it's been weeks now and i've not posted any other video because i've been so busy at work i've not had time to edit everything's like on top of me at the minute um reading isn't the most enjoyable thing ever so I need to find a good book. I'll let you know if I start anything else and fingers crossed I enjoy it. <laughs> just hopping back on here because I just updated my Goodreads review and put that I'm giving it two stars and I started reading some of the negative reviews and I just fully agree with like everything. <laughs> Firstly I didn't like the romance at all. I found it very poor taste I think. <laughs> I didn't really care about these characters or what happened to them and I read someone's comment on another person's negative review and they said like you're completely missing the point of this story it's not meant to be explained it's meant to be emotional and you're just not getting it and fine if i'm just not getting it that's fine people like that really annoy me like you're missing the point like no I, I understand what the point is i just don't like it i don't like that that's the story and i'm allowed to not like a story doesn't mean that i'm missing the point i don't know why i'm getting angry about it because he didn't say this to me <laughs> but because it's like a review that i felt like exactly the same and someone's just like you're just not getting it you're not on my level whatever and i think that's all i have to say now <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna read something else now so i'll see you in a bit hi guys so it is now a couple of days later i think i got a new phone in the meantime so hopefully the quality of this clip <laughs> looks or like sounds better i don't know i'm currently in my car again because i've come to watch mac play american football i've just stood for like what two and a half hours watching that and i'm absolutely freezing so i've just come to take refuge in my car for a bit and get warm while he referees the last game so my reading update is that i'm currently reading birthday by who is it by actually oh god my fingers i can barely move like oh it's so hard to move my fingers right now i started reading birthday by meredith russo yesterday it's a really quick read we're basically following these two boys, Eric and Morgan. They've been best friends since they were born because they were born in the same hospital on the same day and their families just got to know each other. So they've literally grown up together. So we start the book when they're 13 years old and it's their 13th birthday. And then we follow them on one day every year on the birthday. So one of the characters, Morgan, feels like he should have been born female and he feels like he should be a girl. And he hasn't told anyone what his feelings are because he can't really work it out himself. Already, I'm really enjoying it. I'm like 40% in now. Their friendship is so cute, I just love them. And I just love Morgan so much. I think he's so cute and I can't wait to see how, as the years go by, hopefully he gets more and more confident in his identity. But they live in this really small town. It seems like quite a difficult environment to come out in. So at the minute, I'm really loving it. There's been some really cute moments. There's been some really sad moments as well. Um, but I'm going to now sit in the car for the next like hour or so and just read a bit more of this book. And yeah, it's going really quick. So hopefully I'll finish this one really soon. I watched a video by Books and Lala recently and it was her trying to be a mood reader. And it made me think because I'm just a mood reader anyway. So it's really hard for me to stick to a TBR and it just shows in this video, doesn't it? I wanted to read three books and I couldn't do it in one go. I just... I can't force myself to read something that I'm not in the mood for at all. It just puts me in a really bad mood and I won't enjoy the book. I feel like this is the opposite of that video, like trying to read a set TBR and failing and resorting back to my mood reader ways. But <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll let you know when I'm a bit further into this, uh, probably like three quarters of the way through or when I finish it, depending on how fast it goes. And then we'll get started on The Stone Sky. Hi guys, so I'm going to do a quick little update for you. Um, I finished Birthday by Meredith Russo. I've given it four stars. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very cute. I loved seeing Morgan's journey as she came to terms with the fact that she was transgender. I felt really invested in the characters. It really upset me to see Morgan try and repress her identity and try and express herself in this like overly masculine way in order to try and fit in and to push everything back and then how that sort of backfired against her. So I loved all that. I love the romance. It was very cute. And then I went on Goodreads and I noticed that someone had left a review saying that this author is 
kind of problematic and um, was involved with some domestic abuse allegations. So if I'd have known that, I'm not sure if I would have picked this up. This book does mention domestic abuse, um, mainly between father and son. So I will let you decide whether you want to read this book based on that. The author is a trans woman. I'm guessing that she put a lot of her own feelings into this book. I just really liked reading that perspective as somebody who doesn't feel that way. Maybe just be wary of this author if it's something that you don't want to support. Anyway, I said I was going to start reading The Stone Sky and then end this vlog, but in true mood reader fashion, I've decided to pick up a completely different book, which is Snap by Belinda Bauer. I think I'm about 85 pages into this so far. I've had it on my shelf quite a while. And for some reason, I just really wanted a thriller to like read something quick. I think this was nominated for a Booker Prize, Booker Award, but so far it's well written. I'm interested. Um, it's basically about these three kids who are in a car with their mum and the car breaks down and she gets out of the car and she says I'm gonna go and like ring for help and she basically never comes back and it's flicking back and forth between like that time and then three years later and we've also got this other perspective as well of this woman who's just been burgled and we're led to believe that the oldest son of these three children is now a burglar because he's trying to fend for like him and the other kids. I'm gonna have to go because I'm gonna get my nails done. Um, they look absolutely disgusting. They're like grown out by like four weeks now, I think. So they're looking nasty. Um, so I'm gonna go do that. And then hopefully I'm gonna read quite a lot of this book. So I will check in with you when I read some more. Hi guys. So it is now a few days later again. <sighs> I'm just having one of those days. At the minute, I'm currently reading Sapiens still. I'm also reading Snap and I've not read anything for a few days, again, because I've been so tired when I finish work. I've been filming this vlog for so long now and I've still not finished the three books that I wanted to read and it's like annoying me so bad. And I know that it's stupid because this is my YouTube channel, I can read whatever I want to read, but I do want to read The Stone Sky, but I just can't right now. <laughs> uh, but then I feel like I can't finish this video until I've read it and I feel like I'm slipping into like treating reading as a task or like something that I need to get done but then sometimes I kind of like having that because it gives me that motivation to actually sit down and spend a few hours reading so right now it's Saturday I've got all day free I've got all day tomorrow free so I'm going to spend so much time reading I think and in a way I am going to treat it as a task because then it feels like I'm not wasting my weekend reading I don't know it's so silly like reading is a hobby I shouldn't be treating it like a to-do list. Another reason why I'm feeling a bit uh, is because I just went to edit a video which I filmed ages ago now. I've not uploaded anything in a month and probably longer by the time you see this video and I'm watching this video and I just don't like it. I look moody, I'm not explaining myself properly, it's just not a good video so I think I'm just going to give up on it and just not bother editing it because I don't like it. So then that's like another what hour or so and then I've spent like an hour editing it so far already just like kind of like wasted. And that's another delay in uploading a video. I don't know, it just feels annoying. I'm so used to doing night shifts and late shifts and having like full sleep. Whereas this new job, I start at eight. And it's been really hard to get back into a routine of eight till four on Monday to Friday when I'm used to doing loads of different shifts and having more time during the day. Whereas this, I've been so knackered when I finish work that I just kind of slob about and do nothing. Sorry to pile all that on you. I'm feeling like sorry for myself, but I'm gonna get out of it now. I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna do some reading. I think I'm gonna listen to Sapiens and read some of that. Then I'm gonna read some of Snap and probably just switch between them. And then the next time I speak to you, hopefully I'll have finished both of these books. Hi guys, so I'm feeling a little bit better than I was in my last clip, <laughs> lol. It's now a couple of days later and I have a reading update for you. So I finished the two books that I wanted to read this weekend. I finished the first one on Saturday and then the next one Sunday. So the first one I finished was Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. So I had quite a big chunk of it to read on Saturday. So I just like sat with my phone playing the audiobook and just like powered through this. Excuse my cats playing in the background. <laughs> so I'm not going to rate this book because I feel like nonfiction is kind of hard to rate, especially ones that are just meant to be educational. But I really enjoyed this book. There were some bits that I found a little bit slower than others. For example, the sections on religion. I'm not super interested in religion. And yeah, just some of the other middle sections I wasn't totally in love with. But I did think it picked up towards the end. My favourite bits were 
the very start and talking about how sapiens came to be because there was so much information that I just had no idea about. I really liked the build up to our present day and just how rapid that progress is when you compare it to our entire existence. I liked the speculation as to what's next for Sapiens and I really liked the last line of this book, which basically says, um, is there anything more dangerous than dissatisfied and irresponsible gods who don't know what they want? and it i just really like that as a final line because it's talking about how we just want more and more we want progress we don't want anything specific it's just what can we do better what what more can we do to get power and it was just saying how terrifying that is and i think this author basically says that he thinks sapiens will probably not exist in the form that we know it in the next thousand years which is crazy to think that we've been around for oh, my kettle's boiled brb I can't find a specific date here so yeah I really enjoyed this book it's it's very dense and it's quite like heavy so I would recommend the audiobook alongside this book sometimes when I was listening to it on its own in the car it was a little bit too much I wasn't taking much of it in so I would sort of go back and read over the parts it talks a lot about farming and how awful that is for farm animals which has definitely influenced the way I've been eating since reading this book like obviously we all know how awful farming is but do we actually know how awful farming is <laughs> like we all know it's bad but the specifics of it just made me feel so gross. I learned a lot in this book I didn't even realize that sapiens as we are lived alongside Neanderthals. I thought we just sort of followed in like a line and they think the reason why we survived and evolved as we are is because we had a more complex language system which meant that we could unite millions of people using these shared imaginary beliefs such as culture, religion, capitalism, that sort of thing. So yeah it was really interesting read. It did help me tap back into my sociology brain a little bit uh, but it is a lot about biology, history, anthropology. It's got a lot in there. So that's the first book that I finished on Saturday. Next up, I finished Snap by Belinda Bauer. I really enjoyed this book, actually, but I'm not sure how to rate it because as I was telling Mac about it, he said, oh, you don't seem very excited about this book. And I said, no, I think it's like a 4.5. Like, it's a really good crime book. And he said, mm, I'm not sure because you usually sound like way more enthusiastic about a book. But I feel like this is just a very solid book. This is about three children who are on the motorway with their mum and their car breaks down. Mum goes off to find a phone and she disappears. We fast forward to three years later. These three kids basically live by themselves and the oldest brother burgles to try and help them survive. And this isn't what I thought this book was going to be. I'm not sure what I thought it was going to be, but um, it went into a bit of a different direction. We followed a few police detectives as well. I thought this book kind of read like a film and I really liked that. It was really tense towards the end. It's kind of a longer book for a thriller, but it didn't feel long at all. It's 430 pages and I do think it needed like all of that, especially as we got to the end. We were really close to finishing. I think there was like 20 pages left and it still had like a lot of things left to solve. So I was getting a little bit worried that it was going to have an unsatisfactory ending, but the ending was like my favourite part. I really liked it. And yeah, I finished this just thinking like, yeah, that was great. That was really good. It is a lot about family, trauma and grief. And it does have this interesting crime aspect as well. It does have some twists and turns, but it is more just high stakes, exhilarating, rather than like shocking plot twists. Do you know what I mean? I can't really fault it, but it just doesn't give me that five star feeling. So 4.5, I think is best for that. And now I'm back onto reading The Stone Sky, finally. <laughs> um, I started reading this Sunday evening and I'm almost back to where I left it off. Um, so I basically started the book again and I'm pleased to say that I'm much more into it this time. I'm much more in the mood for it. I had a longer lunch at work today because we finished a little bit earlier and I just couldn't wait to go sit in my car and read this book and like not speak to anyone. So that's a good feeling. <laughs> I feel like it would have been unfair to the book to have pushed through it when I was in that mood where I didn't feel like reading it. Uh, so I'm glad that I waited, read a few other things and also because I'm toxic and I no longer have a 
audio about to listen to in the car, you might have already seen it by the cover that you just got a sneak peek of there, but I'm also listening to I'm Glad My Mum Died by Jeanette McCurdy. I just started this this morning because I've had the audiobook on hold for ages and it finally came through. My sister got me this for my birthday and I've been waiting for this hold basically since then. So I thought it was the perfect time to read it now. Already I'm very, very invested. It's really interesting. I didn't watch Nickelodeon. Oh, hi girl. Hey girly. <laughs> What are you doing? Tell's just found a bee and she's very excited so she probably won't leave now, but oh well. <laughs> I've just moved because she would not leave that windowsill alone. Sorry, this lighting's really bad. Um, okay, that's a bit better. So I didn't watch Nickelodeon or I call it. So I think this is going to be really interesting because I don't have any like prior knowledge of her. I had no idea about her past before this book came out. So I think I'll end up reading this one very, very quickly. Uh, because I already want to just like keep listening to this. I think I'm on like chapter eight or something. I'm going to do a full review of this like in a different vlog because oh my gosh, you'll probably like stop reading all these other books. Just get what you need to get done, <laughs> done. So yeah, I won't talk about this in this vlog. I'll finish The Stone Sky. If I finish this like at the same time, then sure, I'll just add it in. But if not, I'll talk about it in my next like wrap up video or whatever. But yeah, I'm going to go have a cup of tea and I'll check in when I'm at like the halfway point, I think of The Stone Sky or something similar to that hi guys so i'm just getting ready to go and meet my friend we'll have a takeaway at her house tonight because she bought a house and i've not seen it yet i just thought i would give you a little update i'm now halfway through the stone sky as you can see i have still tabbed quite a bit of this book but i am finding it a little bit difficult to get through <laughs> i got to the point where i stopped last time and it was really difficult to sort of push through that bit again i feel like there's a lot of setup going on in this book and this is the third book this is the final book so i'm just a bit surprised that there's so much like slow time stuff there's been a lot of traveling and like the other books have been a lot about that as well but i thought this one would be a little bit more explosive at this point so there's 170 pages left in this book i just feel like it needs to start picking up the pace it needs to start coming together a bit quicker and i just want a bit more action at this point it's very kind of slow paced even slower i would say than the second book it's not as amazing as i thought it was going to be based on my reactions to the first and second book so yeah i'm going to try and read a little bit more of this tonight and my next update will be when i finish it my other thing with this book is that there's a lot of description of places and things that are going on and i'm just struggling to wrap my head around what that looks like visually like i can't picture it in my head and i feel like i've had this with these books previously but when i reread them everything sort of clicked there's just a lot of places settings magic systems being described that i'm just struggling to comprehend so hopefully it all comes together in the end but at the minute i'm feeling like this is definitely not a five star unfortunately it could be like a three or a four depending on how it goes from now on but yeah i'm gonna go i'll let you know when i finish this book and hopefully that will be the final clip of this vlog hi guys so guess who finished the stone sky I finally finished it. How exciting for me. I have been editing this vlog all day yesterday and a little bit this morning and already it is 40 minutes long. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, if you're still here, thank you very much. Also, I sound like such a whiny privileged girl in this video. I'm so sorry. And it all sounds like such first world problems and I'm making myself cringe even thinking about it. I always find vlogs really hard to put online because they are quite like vulnerable <laughs> so let's talk about the book shall we i've ended up giving the stone sky four out of five stars in my last clip i was feeling a little bit bored i wanted it to pick up and it did pick up a lot towards the end so the last like 100 and odd pages i read in one go there were a lot of revelations about this fantasy world and it did get very exciting and action-packed towards the end which i was very glad about i did end up tabbing quite a lot of it so i did yellow tabs for oh my god important revelations I did blue tabs for notable moments and I did green for quotes. So I think most of my tabs are for quotes. I do just really love N.K. Jemison's writing. So yeah, most of it was quotes. I loved how it all came together. It all just made a lot of sense. Here's all of them together with all my beautiful tabs in there. So we've got the fifth season, which is still my favourite. The Bliss Gate, which had quite a lot of tabs and which I gave five star on a reread. And then the Stone Sky, which I'm giving four star. But overall, this is still like such a good series. It is definitely a slower trilogy. There is a lot of traveling. There's a lot of backstory. There's a lot of character development rather than just straight up like action, action. Like the first book, I would say is the most action packed, the most exciting. And then they do feel a little bit more slow paced. 
but it's such a great world a great magic system i love the characters still it is a little bit disappointing that the final book in the series is the one that i probably like the least so after nine weeks of filming this video can you believe it um i'm starting my 10th week of my job this week and in my first clip i was like oh i just started my new job I can't believe this has been going on that long. What a joke. <laughs> so thank you for sticking around if you're still here. I'm going to stop rambling on now. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and that you've got something useful out of it. <laughs> Give it a like if you did like it. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.